Welcome to this short webinar. Um, I'm Adam, I'm one of the co-founders of, of Coconut and I'll be leading the session today on payments on account. I'm a qualified accountant and I've seen firsthand how difficult this uh, subject can be for people to get their head around, particularly when you first start working for yourself. Um, and so I hope this session helps you feel more confident with payments on account by the end. Um, and in this session, we will be covering what they are, how they're calculated, when they're due, and potentially how you can reduce your payments on account if you've earned le less in the last tax year, um, potentially due to COVID, uh, which will be affecting quite a lot of people. Um, and uh, in terms of questions, uh, you can send your questions throughout through um, uh, the Zoom chat. Um, you're encouraged to do so. Ness Kent is on hand to uh, take your questions and, and help. So firstly, what are payments on account? Um, so as a sole trader, um, you actually have quite a long time to pay your tax bill after the end of the tax year. Uh, the bill for the tax year that just ended 5th of April 2021 is actually due 31st of January 2022. So that actually means that the work you did um, back in April 2020 isn't actually due to a full 20 months later. And so this makes it really hard to save the right amount for your tax bill throughout the year. So HMRC have a solution to that, uh, albeit slightly imperfect, which is payments on account. And the way this works uh, is they uh, ask you to make two payments each year that are advanced payments towards your tax bill for the following year. Um, and each payment is 50% of what they think your tax bill is going to be. Um, so if they were, if they got them right, when, when the 31st of January comes around, you've actually already paid your, your tax bill. Um, so for the tax year ending 6th of April, 2020, um, your tax return is due on the 31st of January, 2021. Um, and as well as paying your tax bill for that year, you'll actually make the first advance payment on account towards the next tax year at the same time. You'll then make a second payment account in July, and that's the one that's coming up um, in a few days, the deadline for that. Um, and finally, make a balancing payment on the 31st of January. And then the cycle starts again, where you're paying the first payment account for the next year from then. So some of you may already be familiar with this, some, some not. Um, does this apply to everyone? The answer is no. Um, so you might not have been asked to do this yet if you've not submitted a tax return before, or if you've submitted a tax return where um, you, your tax bill was less than a thousand pounds. So um, it's only when you do a tax return that's over a thousand pounds that HMRC will actually start asking you to do this. So little warning to anyone that's new to self-employment is um, the first time you have a tax bill that goes over a thousand pounds, it's actually going to have 50% added extra on it straight away um, for that first year's payment on account. So I, I, I know a few people that that's, that's caught out in the past. I think even Ness, you might have been caught out by that when you were self-employed for a bit. Um, so yeah, it's something to, to look out for and be aware of. Um, so working through just an example then, um, apologies for, um, this gets a little bit uh, um, numbery, but um, uh, is quite a, a tough calculation to step through. So um, if you're finding this a bit tough to, to follow, that, that, that's okay. Um, it is quite a difficult thing to get your head around. Um, the example I've got here is someone that has earnings um, of £45,000 for the year. Um, that's going to be profit, um, which is uh, your earnings after you've deducted any um, allowable expenses that you've got for the year. Um, so for someone that had those earnings during uh, the tax year that ended on 5th of April 2020, um, the tax bill will be 10 grand, um, which was due on the 31st of January 2021, just gone. So when you pay that tax bill, as, a, as it's over a thousand pounds, HMRC will ask for that advanced payment on account towards next year's tax bill at the same time. So they'll want, um, and they'll just, just they'll just guess that your tax bill will be the same next year. Um, and so essentially, they're asking for fifty percent on top. 
So on the 31st of January, you pay your tax bill in full for 10 grand, and then you'd have a further five grand advance payment to pay towards next year's tax bill. You then have your second payment on account coming up on the 31st of July, 2021. Um, and then when you get to the following year, let's say you've earned a little bit more, your tax bill is 11 grand instead of 10 grand. Um, you then owe just £1,000 extra because you've already made those two advance payments. Um, and then like we saw again, the whole cycle starts again. So they then ask for the next payment on account towards the next year. So you can sort of see how um, if you were the person that had just started um, paying payments on account for the first time, in your first year, it's pretty painful because that was a, a 15 grand payment on the 31st of January. But over time, it then smooths out because you're, you're making these advanced payments um, over time. So um, in this example, I assume my earnings went up, but a problem with the way HMRC calculates payments on account is they do just assume it's the same as the last year. So if you think your incomes will fall, then you can end up overpaying using this. So if you expect this to happen, which COVID has caused for a lot of people, there are two ways you can ask HMRC to, to pay less on your payments on the account. So you're not handing money over to them any earlier than you have to. So the first way is through your tax return. So some of you might have already done this when you did your, your tax return back in January. Um, uh, there is a section within that where you or your accountant can say that you expect to earn less next year um, and to actually reduce or, or cancel the payments on account. Um, the second way, which you can do at any time, is using what's called a SA303 form. And you can file this online. I think the easiest way is to just search SA303. Um, it should be the first result that comes up and you can um, file it online using your HMRC um, online login details. Um, there's also a paper version as well if you feel that way inclined. Um, and so an example of when you might do that, taking the, uh, the illustration I had before where you earned 45 grand, tax bill of 10 grand, first payment on account of five grand, um, which is 50%, uh, assuming you're gonna earn the same amount. If you then actually only earn 30 grand next year because you've been affected by COVID, that would mean your expected tax bill is only five grand and you've already paid that through your first payment on account. So um, if you're in that scenario and you didn't uh, ask HMRC to lower your payment on account back when you did your tax return, that might be a scenario to, to check out the SA303 and to request a, a reduction or, or, or just totally cancelling that second payment on account. If you did pay the second payment on the count of five grand when you got to your tax return um, in, uh, the, on the 31st of January, they would just rebate that money to you at that point. So there's no reason for them to be holding on to your, um, your five grand when that's going to happen anyway. So hopefully that tip is useful for anyone in that position. One thing just to bear in mind is if you did um, claim any money from the government as, the, as part of the self-employed income support scheme, um, that money does actually class as self-employment income. Uh, so when you're calculating what you think your, your earnings are gonna be, um, whether you have or haven't done your, your tax return yet, um, uh, just bear that in mind that you need to factor in any money that you uh, got through the self-employed income support scheme when you're figuring that out. And then just one final note, if anyone has a student loan, um, if you are self-employed, you repay your student loan as part of your self-assessment bill, um, but these are not included in your payments on account payments. So you'll continue to pay these in the usual uh, fashion um, in full as part of your 31st of January um, payment for the previous tax year. So um, hopefully we've shared um, some things that can help you avoid the common pitfalls with payments on account. And the key to really avoiding being caught out with this is about having a good strategy to set aside money for your tax bill as you go, for example, into a savings account on a regular basis. So 
Um, the amount of tax will vary based on your earnings, but a good rule of thumb is to set aside, say, 30% of your income. Um, this will vary depending on how much you earn and also whether you have a student loan, um, in which case it can be a touch more. Um, there's plenty of online calculators to, to help you to get to a more, more exact amount, but uh, the bands, the earnings bands here help just give you a guide of um, kind of a, a rule of thumb you might want to follow to set aside your, your earnings as, as you go and make sure you've always got enough um, for that tax bill when it comes. And if all of this is just too complicated and you don't want to think about it, um, HMRC do have a, an option that not really many people take up, um, which is the option to just pay money directly to them um, using what they call the budget payment plan. So essentially you work out how much um, you're gonna expect to pay them based on your earnings. Um, and then they you, you can just arrange a direct debit to go straight to straight over to HMRC every every week or month um, if you um, don't want to have to think about payments on account at all. Um, so if you if you set up on this scheme, then um, uh, the payments on account, uh, you don't need to worry about those because um, they we use this monthly payments instead. Um, so that's that and I think that's everything. So um, I hope you found this session useful today um, to get a better understanding of how payments on account work um, and maybe even get a bit of cash back in, in your pocket to, uh, as well if we're using the uh, SA303. Um, and thanks everyone for joining and thank you for your questions that you've sent through um, um, and enjoy the rest of your week.